Hey guys, it's the Shabby Chic Vintage Chicks. Welcome to the replay. Unless, of course, you see that little red thing up above that says live, then, of course, welcome to the live. <laughs> I'm Angie, and this is Maya, and we're in the beautiful Rideau Lakes. And, well, we've got a little craft for you today. Say hello to the people, Maya. Hello to the people. All right, I'm gonna come down here. Hopefully my knees don't hurt me too much. So, um, as I'm sure all of you are aware, we have a little social distancing going on, and we've decided to put a positive spin on it, and we're gonna call it family bonding going on. Seeing how we're all home, and we're kind of stuck together. Yeah. So, today, um, we've already done some baking this morning, yeah. where Maya got to make pancakes. That was lots of fun. And eat and them. Then and eat them, yes. And this afternoon, we're gonna do some crafting. So, I'm a chalk couture designer, so I have lots of chalk couture in the house. Um, I'm very fortunate to be able to work from home. It's a great opportunity, and of course, when it comes to stuff like this, I don't have to do much changing other than I've got a helper. And she doesn't mind at all. <laughs> so today, we're going to be working on this was our Club Couture transfer, and it's sliding. Club Couture transfer for March, no, for February. Yeah. But we were a little preoccupied with renovations and we didn't get to it. So we're going to do it today. Yeah. All right, Miss Mai, you can begin. I'm going to get up off my old little knees. There is one difference. Yes, there is one difference. We can get to that after, though. Okay. Okay, so we're going to begin by, you can do it. I'm going to show how easy this is for kids to do. Yeah, thanks for moving me. There's the center. All right. Oh, and it's stuck to my finger now. Don't we need a fuzzing? Oh, you need a fuzzing cloth. Here it is. She's right. You need a fuzzing cloth. Fuzzing cloth is basically a terry cloth towel. Ours happens to have a microfiber side for drying off transfers after. I'm like, wait a and second. And a terry cloth on. That's wrong. Yep, that's fine. Okay. And a terry cloth on the other side, which just adds a little bit of lint to the back because they are super sticky and reusable, which is what I really love about them because she can do all kinds of crafting and uh, we get to reuse them over and over again. Makes a great craft for the kids as well, as long as, as well as making, you know, awesome home decor. So she's just going to apply it. Nope. Not Don't center. like it? Not center. <laughs> Either that or I'm not. Okay, that you want to fold it up a little bit? Yeah, not too bad. Butter. Okay, then you're just going to rub your fingers over it and make sure it's smooth. It's got a little bump, but it's not in the transfer mm -hmm. area, so you're fine. Mm -hmm. So our transfers are much like a stencil, except for where there's usually a hole for your paste or your um, paint to go through. Um, on these, there's actually a silk screen in there instead of a hole. So it can give you more definition and more detail to your artwork. We're gonna be doing lots of these projects now that you're home because, well, I have lots of it and it's fun and it's creative and it also is a learning thing. Oh, and we I get to connect to- I more time because it's still uh, really, really sticky. Okay. And it's a great way for us to make connections with people online. She's uh, She gets to show her friends what she's doing and I get to uh, show you guys. Your friends. <laughs> My friends. All right. So you can go ahead and get started on that. I'm just going to go on the other side of the screen. I put it up just a little bit, honey. I'm going to go to the other side of the screen and read if there's any comments and see if there's any viewers. Does that look good, Mom? We have Paul watching, and we have Beth watching, and we have Cindy watching. Welcome, 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 guys. If you don't mind, just get a, give a little love for uh, Miss Maya doing this craft. Give her some, some I don't know, positive feedback. And hey, Mom, does that look good? It does. Make sure it's down really smooth. And I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Let's see if I can move the camera and focus in on it. I'm not going to be using the berries. If you could do this. We have a little gift for you. We're going to put your names all in for a draw. And we have a little gift that we would mail out just to add a little happiness in this time of 
uncertainty and a little bit of chaos going on in the world. Oops, sorry for shaking you. Emma Code and Livy are watching. So yeah, if you don't mind hitting that little SH button down in the corner, that would be amazing. And we could get your name in for a beautiful little prize that'll come in the mail. All right, Maya, describe what you're doing. So I, I'm just putting a little bit of the paste on my squeegee. And you're gonna start up at the and, top? Yeah, so they don't drag my arm through the... Awesome. Um, <laughs> I never know what to say when I'm doing this though. That's okay. Hey, Mom. So you're applying an even coat. Yeah. And you're scraping back a little as you go, I guess. Yeah. Because you don't want to waste any of the paste because you have lots of projects that you plan on doing and so do I. Mm. I would do a little bit more up in this. There you go. Perfect. Okay. And then we'll peel and reveal that one. I would set it on the lid. Just like this. Welcome to our. Okay, I'm just going to take that and we're going to soak that in water so that we can wash it off after. We're going to pick that up and just turn that around for the folks real quick. So they can read it instead. Yep. Yeah. Welcome to our. Beautiful. I like the print on that. And there is a little tiny smudge there, but the great thing about these is that it washes off of water. Once you let it dry, it would take some serious um, scrubbing to get it off. But uh, when it's wet, it just wipes off very easily. And of course, now with the shortage on paper products, we are using rags instead. Mm. Learning to go with the punches. Cindy says you're doing a great job. <laughs> but once you say silence, not silence anymore. There you go. Oh, you got a little bit on oh. that wreath. And were you planning on doing the wreath? No. I okay, so we can correct that after. Yes, we can. And is there a reason why you're trying to do this as quickly as possible? Because it, the paste dries pretty fast. Okay, and then what happens if it dries? Um, the screen, isn't it that the screen would stick to it? Well, the paste kind of gets stuck in the screen and then it doesn't stay as nicely on the surface. Okay. But yeah, you're right. So you're just trying to get a nice thin even coat. And do you have to do the whole transfer? Um, no. No? What areas do you have to concentrate on? Just the letters. Just the letters. And just more the, the silk screen area itself, eh? Yeah. But when I'm trying to scrape some of it away, I end up... Yeah, but that's okay. Try and scrape some. Beautiful. Now what are we going to do? Cue it off. Okay. Emma's saying you're doing a good job. Thank you. I'm hoping people are hitting that little SH button to get their name into a draw for some happy mail. And of course, if you are the winner of our happy mail, we will send you a message. First of all, we will check on your Facebook page and make sure that we can see that it has been sprinkled, let's say, um, that you've hit that little button and that uh, your setting is public so other people can see it as well. Just gonna take that and soak that in water. You wanna take that cloth and do your little fix up? So yeah, we'll check on your Facebook page and then we will send you a message once we verified that you did do that. And of course we'll ask for your mail address and we will send you out a little gift free of charge, no shipping cost or anything. And a little, uh, just as a little thank you for helping support us. You wanna pick that up and show them what, we're, what we've done? Welcome to our hmm. Welcome to our hmm. Hmm. Welcome to our hmm. All right, so you want to explain why you didn't do the O? 
which was a reef. Um, I guess so, yeah. Um, you didn't do the wreath because it's St. Patty's Day, and you decided that you would put one of these little, um, shamrocks in there. Oh. Okay. So we picked these up just at a dollar store. Not sure if it was Dollarama or, actually I think it was Dollar Tree. And so in the package, it's got all kinds of different ones. And you can pick which ones you like. Oh, I guess there's just two different ones. Dark green or light green? Dark green. You're gonna go dark green? Yeah. All right. Now, if this like, was a wooden surface and we were gonna save this forever, we would glue that on there. Um, also with the transfer, we should say, um, where's the reef gun? Oh, it's on the other part. So there was a reef that was supposed to be the O, and they also give you little berries. So you could have done the reef in green and then add the berries, which we'll probably do at a later date. But uh, for this one, where she wants to add the shamrock, and because this is a chocolate surface and I want to reuse it over and over and over again, we are going to take one of those little command strips and we are going to peel back the side that says it's for on the back of the picture or whatever. And we're going to put that on there. And then we're going to peel back the side that says wall. I'm hoping you guys can see that and I'm not out of focus. And you can apply that however you'd like. You could do it straight, you could do it angled, whatever you think would be pretty. Oh, just a second. I see my little tag is sticking out. I have it a little too low down. There we go. That's better. I think. Like that. Perfect. I'm going to stick her down. And then you can turn it around and show the people what you've done. And this is going to hang on our wall today. Isn't that gorgeous? I think she's done an amazing job. Let's everybody give her a bit of love. Hit that heart button if you don't mind. I think she's done an awesome job. Maya is 11 years old and she has just done, I think, what is a beautiful piece of family art. It'll look great in our house for the day or so. Yeah. And then we'll switch it out. I think we can come up with some pretty cool spring ideas for this as well. So everybody just give her a little love. Hit that little button down there and show her that you appreciated her doing this. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Maya, did you have fun? Yeah. It's a great way to kill time while you're off school? Yeah. Yeah. All right. If anybody is curious on how to get your hands on some of these products, please just shout me a message. And that's all I'm going to say about that because I don't want to be too pushy. But um, Maya sure loved it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye, guys.